literally 14 days until Christmas. So much fun. All right, today we're gonna be reading about one of my favorite parts of Christmas, the Christmas tree. So today the book is called The Legend of the Christmas Tree. So it's a little small, so I'm gonna get a little bit closer. All right, we have my Christmas tree behind me. And at the end of the video today, I'm gonna be showing you a cool Christmas tree craft that you can make with stuff that you have at your house. Awesome. So let's go ahead and read The Legend of the Christmas Tree and it's by Rick Osborne. Tonight's the night we get our Christmas tree, sang Amanda and Beth. Presents, 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 chanted Buddy. Come and eat first, Mom called. At the dinner table, Dad prayed. Lord, thank you for food and fun and help us keep Jesus in our hearts and minds more than ever this Christmas. After dinner, mom said, okay, time to get our tree. They snuggled up in the car together. Dad drove out into the snowy night. Why don't we go to a tree farm and cut our tree, mom suggested. That's a great idea, dad agreed. The snowstorm turned into a thick fog. Were, were they lost? Suddenly, Buddy called out, There it is! He pointed to a small sign. They drove down the bumpy dirt road, and an old man in a red flannel shirt stood by three beautiful Christmas trees. Under one tree, they saw a box wrapped in shiny silver paper. What's in that box? Amanda asked the man. The trees and the secret in the box tell the legend of the Christmas tree, the man said. What is the legend? Please tell us, please, Buddy begged. The farmer told his story. Many years ago, a monk named Boniface taught people about God. He told them that the evergreen tree is a triangle with all three corners, but it is just one tree. He said that God is three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but it's still one God. People began using evergreen trees in churches to teach others about God. The old storyteller pointed to the first tree. During the times of knights and castles, people had a holiday on December 24th. They called it the Feast of Adam and Eve. They decorated evergreen trees with apples and twists of bread, and they used, used it to tell the stories of the tree of life in the Garden of Eden. But there's no Christmas tree yet. The farmer took two giant steps to the second tree. A long time ago, a teacher named Martin Luther saw a beautiful evergreen tree with the starlight sparkling off his icicles. He cut down the tree and took it home. He put little candles on it and lit the candles. Then he told his children the story of Jesus, the light of the world. The storyteller moved to the third tree. Oh, that's that tree's my favorite, Beth said, and he smiled big. Soon, people in Europe began decorating trees with pretty glass ornaments and treats. And that is the legend of how we got the Christmas tree. Can we get our tree now? Buddy asked. I have just the one, said the farmer. He lifted a large tree that was leaning against the snack shack. Just for you, the farmer said with a wink. Dad tied the tree on top of their car, and then the jolly tree farmer handed Dad the box wrapped in silver paper. Don't open this until you finish decorating your tree. Everyone called, Thank you, and they waved goodbye. The next morning, Amanda helped Dad put the tree into its stand. Beth and Buddy helped Mom in the kitchen. Dad sang and whistled Christmas carols. Then he put the silvery, silvery box under the tree. Look, they made apples to put on the tree, just like the story. Who remembers what Boniface told the people, asked Dad. One tree has three corners. One God has three persons, says Amanda. Mom brought gingerbread cookies shaped like bread twists and apples from the kitchen. They looked like the ones that Adam and Eve tree. 
As the kids helped mom string lights into the tree, dad read the story of Jesus' birth. As soon as all their favorite ornaments were hung on the tree, Beth said, Can we open the silver box now? Inside, they found a beautiful glass star with a note tied on it. Dad read the note. The wise men followed Jesus under the star of Bethlehem. May all who see the tree under this star know the true meaning of Christmas. Let's look at the star on top. And that's the end. Wow, that's so cool how we got our Christmas tree. It started out, people were celebrating Adam and Eve with trees. And then they, Martin Luther brought a tree into his house and put candles on it. And then people started decorating it even more. And then now we have a Christmas tree. And a Christmas tree has three corners like God has three persons, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Wow, that is so cool. I like that a lot. That story is really nice. So now we're going to go and make a craft. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna make a craft. So what you're gonna need is some cupcake liners. It doesn't matter what color they are. And some markers or pencils or something to color with. And then some tape and popsicle sticks. Or I'm gonna be using toothpicks because I don't have any popsicle sticks. So here we go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get three cupcake liners and you're gonna make one, hopefully one half, fold one like that, which is a little bit smaller. Excuse you, Wapo. And then fold one into four. So you're gonna do one big, one middle, and one small, just like a Christmas tree. And what you're going to do is you're going to tape or glue them together. So um, my dog's having an issue, but we're, we're going to be okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually tape it back here. Put it a little bit. Overlap it. There we go. And then tape along the back. You'll have to forgive him. Right. And then we're going to get the other one. And you're going to tape it on top of that. Or you could always glue. Use glue. I like better than tape. Let's fix that a little bit there. There we go. And then this one's on top. He is not being hurt as much as it sounds like he is. All right, and then we have our Christmas tree, and I'm just gonna take that piece down real quick. There we go. Take that piece down. So now we have a Christmas tree. Yours might look a little bit better than mine. Mine's look like it looks like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a toothpick. Mine are not sharp. Toothpick. And I'm going to tape it on the bottom. Tape the toothpick on the bottom. And then, boom, we have a Christmas tree. So now I'm going to use, I have my color pens, my gel pens, and then I have some markers. All right, and I'm going to decorate my Christmas tree. Here we go.
put a star on the top. Oh, that doesn't show up. That's okay. I'm just gonna do some more. All right, and then when it's done, it's all decorated. And now I have a little Christmas tree. And I'm going to cut out. I have a yellow one, and I'm going to cut a star out. So here, let's try. Doing this freehand, which is kind of sketchy. My star looks a little funky, but I'm going to put it right on top of the little piece of tape. Flip it over. Star on top. L little piece of tape. There we go. Awesome. And now I have my Christmas tree all decorated. So you can make these too, and if you make one, I want to see a picture of your craft. So you can go ahead and have your grown-up send it to me, and maybe I'll put it on the next video. Alright friends, have a good night!